Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel and or my flat. Come on in. You've already made yourself comfortable. That's good. So I haven't done a video like this in a really long time, but I really like doing it because I like supporting other creators. And I've been watching YouTube for so long and I've got a massive, weird, eclectic taste in YouTube at this point. And I like contributing to the communities of different channels and things. I'll comment and people will always reply and be like, Evan Edinger, how are you on this channel? I'm like, I. It makes good stuff. And so today I'm actually gonna be sharing with you some of those like really niche YouTubers I think you should check out, some popular ones as well, just ones that I really like in all the different niches that I support so you can finally see who I'm really watching on YouTube. Also, by the way, today's video is sponsored by The Ridge Wallet. Again, thank you, The Ridge. You'll hear more about them at the end of the video. So I've tried to break my list up into a couple different categories. I like cooking, I like entertainment. <laughs> Who doesn't? I like a lot of educational stuff and about different uh, categories, and I watch some people on the daily. So I figured I'd start off on the daily ones. So my daily driver, the old good boy, SXE Phil, he's so SXE. I've never once missed a Philip DeFranco video. I really wish YouTube would do a year in review, just so I could see how many minutes of my life I've spent watching that guy is great. It makes really good up-to-date news content on not just news things, but interesting things, sometimes veering into like YouTube drama and stuff so I can stay in the know without actually having to, I don't know, watch hour and a half long takedown videos. And I, I really don't like that style content, but just like, a, oh, just so you know, here you go. And also, like I said, important news. Love the guy, makes great content. Uh, I love how he's built out a team and a life and a 10 out of 10 would recommend the old Philly D. Next up, we've got um, iTemp Plays. I've never played Apex Legends. I've never once touched the game in my life. I played Fortnite back in the day, but I've never played Apex. And yet I will watch someone play Apex Legends every day he uploads. I, he's just a nice, nice YouTuber, makes soothing content. I enjoy watching him totally school people in his positioning ability and his ability to get those shots. Uh, plus, I believe he's from the Midlands, so I'm, I'm getting culture, really, from watching these Apex Legends videos. If you're into gaming, would recommend if you're into Apex. I don't know, or not, like me. I just sometimes like putting in all my breakfast. It's just a part of my routine at this point. I, I like it. I remember at one point I was talking to um, the odd ones out and he was saying he, he watches Minecraft YouTubers while he draws. And I was like, what? That sounds weird. Nah, I get it now. <laughs> I get so it. So that's pretty much every daily YouTuber I watch. I don't think I could watch anyone else that uploaded daily because that'd be so much content. Uh, that being said, there is someone in here that uploads daily. I watch every once in a while. So I'll, I'll talk about him later. Next, it is kind of crazy that if you'd talked to me like five years ago, I didn't know how to cook anything at all. And I made references to this in videos if you've subscribed to me for that long. Uh, in fact, I genuinely didn't know much at all until I did that big trip where I moved to Germany for a month and a half. That was what I set a goal as and I've gotten so much better at cooking since. Now, of the cooking YouTubers I watch, they each serve a different purpose for me along with being really entertaining. I actually do cook a lot of the recipes. In fact, over here, got a little coffee table book for the old Babish. I, I support the guy. I think he makes incredibly good, soothing content. Found him on the old Reddit, but I've, I've been watching him for quite a long time. Like I know some simple recipes that I can do, but if I wanna do something that's a bit more up there and yet always delivers with deliciousness, I will do a Babish dish. Like I've done his treacle tart pie, which was amazing. I've done his blueberry pie, his apple pie. I'm big into the pies. A lot of Thanksgiving stuff like, Pumpkin pie? The man knows a pie, okay? However, my favorite of his dishes uh, that he taught me was the aglio e olio. I cook that thing on the weekly. Anytime I have friends over, I make that. I really love his uh, cooking content. Helps me a lot and it's a really educational and soothing. Though, I do just wanna preface this. I can't think of a single YouTuber on this list I don't watch at two times speed. Just wanna throw that out there. It's still soothing but double the speed. If YouTube could do 2.5, I'd love it. Either way, love my boy Babish. Uh, next up, we've got Ethan Schlebowski. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He just moved to France, which I incredibly respect. Like literally this week, he literally was just like, oh, I'm leaving the US for a year just to get more culture, move to France, learn more about the cuisine. Mad respect. Uh, he makes, yet again, really good cooking videos, some like basics and more advanced. Uh, I recently did a recipe of his, which was a simple 10 minute like chicken sandwich when you just have some chicken left over and don't know what to do with it. It's delicious. I'll, I'll link any video that I reference, by the way, in the description if you're interested. Simple videos, but good. Seems like a nice guy. He takes way too large of bites though. Weird. <laughs> also big up to Adam Ragusea. 
I'm bad at pronouncing names, but I really like his videos because they're very freaking interesting, the titles. It's like he tricks you into watching a science video with cooking. So you're like, what makes extra virgin olive oil extra virgin? I don't know, I'll watch his video. And I really appreciate that he is roughly from my upbringing. So when he references certain types of foods, I'm like, oh yes, this man is from my, my area. I can learn how to make food the way that I want to make it. Next up, we've got my final one in the cooking category. Not necessarily cooking, uh, but I've me mentioned him before, James Hoffman, Mr. Coffee, taught me all my coffee needs. If you're someone that's interested in dipping your toe into coffee, he is the, the one guy, the de facto coffee guy, and man, he even made it so that when I was drinking tea out of a cafetiere, it didn't taste like crap. Uh, amazing, delicious, he knows all the techniques. Moving on to the next section, I do think you'll see a running theme. Most of these, I find I can be productive by watching videos, like the previous categories, cooking. I'm actually bettering myself and learning things while also wasting time on the internet. And so I kind of feel like I'm learning. The next section is just educational content, whether that be interesting topics, uh, things I didn't know, fun facts type stuff, and also just history and things like that. First up, of course, being Wendover Productions, my boy. I love his vids. He's such good high production value on really interesting topics. He'll make a video about planes, then he'll make another video about planes, and then like if it's a different day of the week, he'll probably make a really interesting video about planes in airports. Well, you know, but also other things outside planes. But I, I, I just really think his videos are really, really fascinating. Ooh, I want to know, I want to learn. And also he's just got a voice for radio. He's got one of those radio voices. Incredibly young, unfair. Unfair. He's got like five hidden channels at this point. I love them all. Next up, Historia Civilis. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you're into like Roman history, this guy's got you covered. It's just little tiny squares, but it's so fascinating hearing about all these different Roman battles and showing the animations of how the wars were won. And it's got a little bit of humor in there. And I didn't really get to learn as much about Roman and Greek history as I would have wanted in school and university. And so, I can just learn it with these really interesting videos, except that there aren't any more that I haven't seen yet because I've watched every single one. They're really, really good. Very much recommend. Also, it's not just the uh, classics, by the way, in terms of like Rome and Greece. He also does a lot of stuff about England. In fact, I sat my friends down. We all watched one of his videos on the War of the Roses the other day, just because it's so good. It's so interesting to learn about history, especially when you have a good storyteller. So the next two I'm bunching together, they're two separate YouTubers, but they have a very similar vibe. I think you know what I'm talking about. We got Not Just Bikes and City Beauty. Beautiful. So really, really well thought out videos on city planning that really think critically about what the purpose of cities are, why they're designed the way they are, and showing good examples of like good, bad, essentially bad road culture, good walking culture. The basics, but just really well done if you're someone that's always wondered like, why do I not enjoy walking in the town I'm in? Or what makes a city that I've been to really, really nice without even knowing it? Well, that's good city design, good city planning, and uh, these two channels highly recommend. Sometimes you'll watch one video and YouTube algorithm will just recommend you every video the person's made. And I didn't think I was going to be that much into architecture, but the B1M is a really good channel if you're into architecture. Just different things about like how certain really expensive uh, sky rises operate or how they were able to be built and the different problems that came to pass with giant architectural phenomena like big bridge tunnels and things like that. If you're into that, which turns out I guess I am, 10 out of 10. Can't talk about educational YouTubers without talking about my boy Tom Scott. I mean, he will make any video and make it really interesting. I feel like he's just been so good at making content that I could just say, hey man, I'm having a burger, and he will come up with the most interesting title and thumbnail and make me learn something about the gosh dang burger I'm eating. He's 10 out of 10 YouTuber. I know I've said 10 out of 10 a lot, but I only watch the best. Uh, if you want my top recommendations for Tom Scott videos, like I said, I will put some uh, links in the description, but yeah, he's one of my favorites. I feel like I could just point to a random Tom Scott video and you'd probably enjoy it. But actually, I'm in a Tom Scott video where me and Luke compete against each other in the game garage. So actually, I will link that one because that, that one I'm in, hey. I think you know you're a Londoner when you go hang out with your friends in LA and they ask you what's up and you're like, the Elizabeth line is nearly finished and I'm very excited. Turns out I really like trains, especially when they have to do specifically with the ones that can, I, I can benefit from in London. So if you're into the London Underground specifically, uh, Jago Hazard, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. I watched like 
almost every one of his videos at this point. They're really, really interesting tales from the tube. So he'll go to a certain tube stop and tell you about the history of it, what the train lines used to be back in the day before it was like non-privatized. Like really interesting videos he's done in the past that I thought were interesting were like, why are there seven different stations in Acton? As someone who used to live there, I'm like, yeah, why? Well, he's got a really good video about that. Plus he's got a really nice soothing voice and I like learning a bit more about different parts of London. So it feels like it's a win-win for me. Furthering down on that London trend, Jay Foreman, I've shouted out multiple times. He's been on this channel before. He just makes some of the best content on YouTube. He has for a very long time. He's got an incredibly good comedic bone. Why didn't I just say funny bone? He's got a funny bone and he makes really interesting content specifically about London, but also all about the rest of the world and the UK. So w would recommend, I mean, I have not been in one of his videos yet, but he's been in mine. So I mean, get a vibe. I think <laughs> you would describe Jay Foreman's videos as like 10 seconds of interesting learning about something and then very funny joke. And then 10 seconds of, it's really timed well, really uh, comedic stuff, even with the little tiny bits with the edits. And uh, I really appreciate his attention to detail, uh, especially when it comes to comedy things with learning. Edutainment, it's my favorite. Now, someone that I've watched some of their videos from every once in a while, I'll be like, oh, that is such a good topic. Uh, Tiffany Ferg, she does deep dives into different bits of internet culture. So as someone who, you know, grew up on the internet myself and I've been a generation like one YouTuber. Tiffany Ferg's made videos about like, what's the purpose of a second channel? Or also, what is the history of the story time vlogger, the story time genre of YouTube? It's just interesting to see someone break apart meticulously uh, the history of something that, you know, we've all just experienced and talk about it in a really interesting and clinical and funny way. So I really enjoy how objective she can be with a lot of this stuff. Here's a thing. Enjoy. And lastly, for educational videos, I'm assuming you've heard of Last Week Tonight. I think they're at, what, season five, season six at this point. I've watched every single video they've put out. They do such an incredibly good job at picking huge issues that are currently happening in America at the moment and deep diving into everything that has caused it and what we can do to possibly help it. Uh, John Oliver's great at what he does and yeah, I, th I think it's a great channel. Like I said, I'm assuming you've heard of last week tonight, but that's just part of my uh, definite watches on YouTube. Okay, so you're absolutely done. You're like, I've learned too much, Evan. Give me some entertainment. So my first on the list, Drew Gooden, yet again, I've talked about him a lot. He makes such good videos. He, it, it, I don't think I've watched a Drew Gooden video that wasn't a 10 out of 10 video. Very, very funny. He just does deep dives on films that are terrible or just things that are bad. He does do a lot of things that are bad, I gotta say, but also just anything he wants. He will not fail to make me laugh. He's so funny. Very big recommend on Drew Gooden. Next up, internet historian. I swear I've watched his one 40 minute video on the Concordia disaster like five times. Anytime I meet someone that's not watched it, I'm like, I will watch that again. It's so good. His editing is just so meticulous and it must take so long to do what he does, but it's just so funny. He's just 10 out of, he doesn't make enough videos. That's my main gripe with him. Does not make enough videos. I know he has other channels, but give me more, sir, please. As I'm going through these, I'm realizing that like entertainment, th these are probably YouTubers that you've heard before, which is fine. I watch a lot of things, but also a lot of popular things. Video Game Donkey, he's literally one of my favorite of all time of video game reviewers on YouTube. He makes piss take reviews, but I always think that he has such experience and such a way of understanding video games. I trust what he's got to say on most of these things. I love how he'll go into a game and just try and break it in any way possible. And it's always just stupidly funny. For someone who makes really good videos about just ordinary things, Ordinary Things is a great channel. I, I love that he can pick any old topic like Windows. And there's a really interesting video. He'll just give you the history of Windows, the, how they came to be and how what types they are, what popular things. But it's really, really funny, really well written. I really like his channel. It's like one of those videos you can just turn on one on and be like, hey, that's, that's some funny stuff. Uh, big, big up. Now I put him in entertainment because it's entertaining, but it's more of like chill sit down chat. Uh, Lewis Rossman, you might know as the guy behind the right to repair movement. He just makes really interesting videos, just usually chilling on his couch with this lovely little cat, Mr. Clinton. And he'll talk about mostly a lot of the similar stuff that I'm interested in, like why house prices are so high. He'll like go around New York and show different prices on things and be like, this is never going to sell. The prices are going too high. No one can afford that. And I just appreciate whenever I watch any of his videos, I feel like he's so incredibly articulate and honest about things that 
I feel like most YouTubers wouldn't even touch at all. He's just got such a good head on his shoulders. I respect the guy a lot, and I find his videos just oddly calming, interesting, and someone that I'd like to emulate at some point. One of my absolute highlights of Playlist Live two years ago was getting to meet Nakey Jakey. I really love his style of content, his editing, uh, very similar to uh, Internet Historian in terms of it's so incredibly complex. There's like loads of just him sitting on a bean bag and just freaking spinning all over the place. Incredible use of sound effects. I think he's absolutely hilarious. He can make videos on a wide variety of topics, but I also just really enjoy, uh, I feel like he and I have a very similar upbringing and I just really like what he got. <laughs> I really like what he got. Also, his music is really fire. I really like the music he's been putting out as well. It's so cool seeing creators like that make something completely different uh, get into music. Hopefully something you say when I finally release that song ever. For YouTube animators, The Odd Ones Out is my go-to. Yes, very, very, very popular, but yet again, we have a very similar upbringing. I feel like there's so many things I relate to him on, except not having a twin, but his animations are really, really, really funny really well written, and you can tell that he really loves what he does. Nice guy, very funny content, very popular, very good. Now, he only uploads like once or twice a year, but whenever JonTron makes a video, it is the funniest thing. I like to stop what I'm doing and I will watch a JonTron video. They're, they're just so freaking funny, whatever he decides to make the video on. A lot of the times, they're like video game related or possibly related to something in the pop culture, but he's just so funny. His editing is amazing. I ran into him once at Heathrow Airport and it was very embarrassing because we were both really sleepy getting off the flight and I just went, <gasps> John John? Yes, I embarrassed myself. He was like, that's my YouTube name. Anyway, uh, lastly for the entertainment is a Defunct Land. I found this channel, like I wanna say four or five months ago and I watched like nearly every video they made within the course of a month. Uh, basically, if you're really interested in the history of like Disneyland, Disney World, all the, the company stuff, like I didn't think it'd be that interesting, but the titles that this guy makes, that the actual content within is so interesting and good, it felt like I'm watching like real documentary stuff, but on YouTube, because I am and it's really good. I did spend some time making this list. However, I do feel like there are definitely gonna be some YouTubers that I've missed out on. Uh, right now, I'm gonna do a quick fire round of all the tech YouTubers I really like. First off, Marquez Brownlee, very popular, makes really aesthetically pleasing, beautiful, beautifully shot uh, videos about tech, any new tech gadgets. Sometimes I'll watch a video he's uploaded about a phone I have absolutely no interest in just to see his shots and his editing. It's really, really nice. I appreciate that he's built out his team and I view myself similar to him in his love of tech and the fact that he's been on YouTube for like 10 years and just, you know, been growing with it. So big fan of Marquez. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, yet again, he's built out a team and a tech empire. The new movie's just done is like so aspirational and also really, really good tech videos. Just if you're into any type of tech, he'll make an interesting video on it. I found out I was accidentally watching like loads of channels that he also produced videos for without realizing, like Mac Address and other ones like that. And I was like, oh, they do all have a similar style, but they're all really, really good. Max Tech, if you're into Apple stuff, he will just make so many videos about the different Apple tech, the Apple rumors, what's going on with the new chip and what it means and different speed tests. I'll watch like a 30 minute speed test comparing like my laptop to a previous laptop. I'm just really into that style tech. I'm into numbers, clearly. Uh, next up, uh, Tyler Stallman's really good for um, just really aesthetically pleasing content about cameras and computers and things. I appreciate that he's like a full-time photographer and he puts so much attention to detail in his shot, in his set. Next, we got Potato Jet. A camera YouTuber, he makes videos about the new cameras, Sony, Nikon, any drone, anything like that. They're very, very, very good. He's very funny, he's down to earth. I like that he uh, interjects bits with his audience in there at the end as well. Uh, very nice guy. I was hoping to randomly bump into him when I was in LA. <sighs> Probably wasn't there at the time, but sadly did not run into him. Also, Gerald Undone. I mean, the guy has helped me so much in terms of learning more about the camera that I currently shoot on, how to best operate this thing and know everything there is to know. He knows so much about cameras, it's oddly scary. And if there's ever anything coming out, I know that he will know everything about it for some reason. He's definitely one to watch if you have any interest in cameras and how to shoot with your camera effectively. Now, the next one I still have in the tech category, but not the way you think. So 
Everything these days is technological. You know, your fridge is technology. You know, you, you have pens that are technology. Toasters are technology. Well, Technology Connection is a YouTuber I can recommend if you're interested in just ordinary things and knowing how they work. Like, if you're the type of person that's like, I really want to know how my dishwasher works, he will upload two 45 minute videos on the best way to use your dishwasher genuinely changed the way I use my dishwasher. And now my dishes are always sparkling clean. Could he have maybe said it in less than an hour and a half? Possibly, but he's very verbose. He uses all the information that he has and tries to share it and makes just really interesting content. Like the difference between certain types of stoplights. It's interesting, it's technological, and I've learned a lot from watching it. Now you might not know this, but I've been obsessed with smart home stuff for the last like two years. And even when I just had that one room in Chiswick, I had outfitted it with all these different smart plugs so I could just turn things on and off when I wanted. For instance, hey Siri, make the cabinet lights purple. On it. Oh God, he's in the wrong spot. Ah, ta-da. So things like this, I can pretty much do that with nearly all the lights and things in my house. Why? It's really fun. I like making automations and things. So when I come home at a certain time, certain lights dim, certain lights come on. It's really nice. You can do it not just with lights, but other things as well. I bring this up because there's two or three YouTubers I like to watch when it comes to smart home stuff. One, Shane Watley makes more HomeKit related videos, specifically around the Siri system, the Apple system. Really, really in detail, is able to explain all the differences and review new smart products. Smart Home Solver is also really, really good for very detailed videos with little funny sketches with his wife and kids, which is adorable. And he'll do things like, what's the best smart switch? And he'll compare all of them and things like that. I find it interesting, even if I don't even plan on buying one, it's just interesting to know about. You know, it's just a niche I'm into. And also Paul Hibbert, who recently uh, replied to one of my comments that he's honored that I replied to him even though I use hue bulbs because I'm on the dark side. He's a really funny YouTuber. I think he's based in like Bood or somewhere in the UK, very much like a Looney Tunes style editing, uh, which I don't really see anywhere else on YouTube, but makes really, really, really good videos about everything smart home. So I, I would recommend if you're interested in building out some smart things, uh, any of those three YouTubers, uh, I would recommend. And lastly, I've got two left for you here. One, when it comes to like fashion videos, I really like this guy named Tim DeSaint. He makes really aesthetically pleasing videos. Just going over some basics if you wanna learn more about certain parts of fashion. And I really like that he's never like, this has to be this, this has to be this. And he's very fashion forward and just, good at explaining things so that anyone can really understand. Uh, there's not many YouTubers I'll watch in that field, but I appreciate his quite a lot. And as you may know, I have been getting really, really big into interior design as I now own my flat and I wanted to make sure I had everything done in a, such a really nice way using interior design. I learned a huge amount uh, from Nick Lewis. He makes really, really good videos about different parts of interior design, what works together, some general rules of thumb, like he made a recent video about different types of metal fix things and you don't really want to have more than two in a house, but certain things like you want to make sure you have woods matching, you want to have at least like everything has a friend, different color things. Basically, if you want to know more about interior design, uh, I really, really like his channel, would recommend. Also, he and I have a very similar sense of fashion. I'm literally wearing, I think, an exact same outfit that he owns. We're all the same on YouTube. Anyway, those are all my big YouTube picks. I know that was a lot. I'm hoping that if you have an interest in any of these specific niches, you'll also maybe look into watching some of these. I love sharing what I like watching and things. So hopefully some of you can enjoy what I enjoy and we can all watch these people and say, Evan sent me. Is that, that's still a thing people do, right? That's cool. But if you also wanna say, Evan sent me to a brand I'm working with, hey, today's video is sponsored by The Ridge Wallet. Can you believe how simple it was for me to just toss this up? That's right, this is my incredibly seamless small wallet. Not trying to dox myself with my cards, but I've got all eight of my credit cards in here. Not that I have eight credit cards. There's things like my membership card and things like that. Keeps my cash right in this nice little wallet thing right here. Really sleek, fits in my pocket, very lightweight, matches my tripod. They have loads of different colors available. And I don't know if I mentioned this last time, they have a lifetime warranty. So luckily I do not have to worry if my wallet breaks down in the future. I know I'm pretty much safe. Also, I just found out they have an AirTag attachment that you can get for it, which is amazing because I lose my wallet all the time. So as soon as that's in stock again, I'm going to be purchasing that so I can make sure I never lose it. If you'd like to get your very own wallet from the Ridge, check my link in the description, ridge.com slash Evan, or use code Evan at checkout and you get 15% off your very own one. Thank you very much to the Ridge for sponsoring today's video. And my question to you at the end, 
Big Q, based on what I watch, is there anyone you'd recommend? Anyone that you think at this point, I feel like you know my style, right? At this point, all eclectic, right? But is there anyone that you'd recommend to me? Genuinely curious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, there's other videos you can watch. Other than that, hope to see you here next week. I think on Friday. Goodbye.